Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. And you know what? There's not just us here today as well. We've got a band in UK who's actually helped us get in here. Hi so guys. Thank you for that. So yeah, we're uh, we're going to be having a look around. It was a children's home, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, did we say it was built in the 1890s? Yeah. Look at us actually having some information today for a change. And that's because that's because of him, to be fair. Uh, 1890s, became a children's home in the 1960s. Um, there's been a lot of abuse here, but then after that had finished, it became quite a nice place from what I've heard as well. So the person that owned it, steel merchant. Yes. Look at you having information. <laughs> a little bit. Only because you've been listening to him. That's because it's recent within the past half hour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> But the research before I get here, that's it, it's gone. So yeah, we're going to have a, a gander around. We're in the cellars, we're coming through the cellars and there's some really good tunnels up there. So we'll have a look round in there in a minute and see what we can find. We'll go in there, hold up. Fair <laughs> 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 up. I think we should go up. Up? Yeah. Why? And then do this last. No, because what if somebody comes in when we're up there and then we'll not get to go in here? <laughs> we'll we'll back by we'll first. We'll get them to chase us down. They're not going to find us down. Oh, yeah, I suppose we could ch run down here, couldn't we? Get away from them. Yeah, exactly. That'd be a good... All right, then. Let's go and look upstairs. Yeah, What's we Andy being in charge yeah, for good, a change? The good stuff. Well, yeah, there is Before we get filthy. <laughs> yeah, we're a bit filthy already. Just because you've done nothing, <laughs> don't mean I haven't. I'm anyway, sure, so don't worry. let's uh, let's oh let's let's follow Andy's little little bum again then. You know, getting a bit of a fan club for your arse, Andy. People. Oh, anyway. That time it's me and not you. <laughs> My arse is massive though. Anyway, we're in the sort of newer bit. Did you say this bit were? It's been more modernised because obviously this part was the children's home and and stuff. So obviously it was more modern, kept up to date, and yeah. Uh, rather and than the other side that obviously you'll see is quite old. Sure. Which bit do you want to do first? The new bit or the old bit? Just regulator rooms. Go on then, get going. <laughs> Hold a candle. What, what have you done to your head again? What there? Yeah, you've got a right cut on your head. What have you done? What? Look, turn around. What is it? <laughs> what have you done? Well, I was shaving my head. You're shaving your head and you yeah. put a big hole in it? Yeah, a brand new razor. All right. And it'll bleed like that. We need to get it sorted. You're supposed to be getting your hair lasered off. Well, we've got somebody to do it in Liverpool. In popcorn. Rats. <laughs> They've been watching a film in here as well. <laughs> it's a bit we modern in this bit. Like this has very, it's very, yeah, This was actually newly put in uh, before it closed. Yeah. Brandy, it, it is, it's spanking. It and this one actually, yeah. This is an actual stable and stuff, so... Yeah, this is not as normal stuff to look at, is it? Not used to yeah, clean. A few bobs are thin, isn't there? I know. Don't, it, it was... don't you be stripping it out and sticking it in back at car. Could be in your kitchen. Brill. Like Why it. is it brill? It's just new I like, furniture. I like, I like a nice kitchen. Oh, what we're oh. used to, isn't it? Are we going to go and explore B&Q next week, or what? <laughs> no, Wren. Wren? Oh, Wren. Oh, is that for old people, though, Wren? No, no, that's yeah, for people with loads of money. You're stupid. Yeah, old people. You sit size of my kitchen, aren't you? Yeah. You're like dollar. It's, it's, no, what's the quote for my my kitchen? Fifteen grand. Fifteen grand. Yeah, Fifteen your... grand for my kitchen. You know, about twelve gold, units. But this is what I'm saying. Gold units. No, they, there's nothing special. They take advantage grand. of old people. That's what I'm saying. Young people. I'm going to say new people then, <laughs> rather than old people. What babies? <laughs> yeah, new people can't afford it. Only old people. Oh, ridiculous. Fifteen. Anyway, robbing pigs. Right. Oh, this is this is computer room, I think, Andy. Oh, they're saying that it looks like at some point it's been like a baby's room, like the yeah. or like a playroom or something. Yeah, knock on that wall. I bet this weren't. Yeah, it's stud wall in, isn't it? That all this yeah rear as well. Yeah, one big. Part. Yeah, one big room at one point. Have you seen this, Andy? It's still running, that's right. I know, I can hear it. That's weird. It'll be doing maybe alarm system or something like that, I don't know. No, no I, I don't know. But a lot of alarm systems run off, off computer yeah, systems, yeah, don't they? Yeah, so like, it might be for that. You are? Like VoIP. Yeah. But anyway, have you seen this? This is an older section. Look in here. I don't understand what it is, though. It's, it's like... It's like a safe room. Does it? Yeah. Why is it so that? Oh. 
Well, that sort of answers my question. You can see, look, where the big bolts have been in. You like to fasten it up? There'd have been a right hefty door on here. But the thing is, right, look at these tiles. These are sturdy tiles. Look how worn that is. Yeah, as well. Like, it's been busy. Must have had some money in here, keep coming and counting it. Yeah. Yeah, because do you say it were a. It was someone to do with the steelworks. Yeah. So we would have had some. We'd have some coin. Decent money back in the eight, eight, late 1800s. Is it. When's the Industrial Revolution? Is that 1700s? I don't know. That's but that's beyond me. I know, the, I know, like, steel in this town here has been a big thing for the last probably two to three it's hundred the years. Yeah. The main steel town, it. Well, it's all. Well, not too far from here is another big steel city as well. So there's, it's all up this end. So it makes sense really, but I still like to take the enamel off these tiles like that and then dim it in. That is, that is- a good five mil that. Yeah, exactly. You can't really tell well, from here. Almost like you're running things into it, you know. I don't know, I think that's just walking. That's just, that's just where the tail walking, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think they've dragged anything. <laughs> I think it's walking in. To that safe, getting whatever you need and taking it back out again. Yeah. That's that's I'd love to see what they have in there. I know. What sort of things that they've had in the business. Yeah. That would have been really good. Exactly. I wonder where the safe the safe must have sat in that back corner there. If you look where it all here, look, because it stopped the wear sort of stops here, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if it was sat against this wall here. Oh, it would have been good to know how much money and what stuff had been I bet in there. Was like family jewellery and all like the yeah. fancy. It would be brilliant. Oh, yeah. brain. That's what you need. You definitely need no, to no, be in the brain. room full of brain first. There's no in there. Well, there's plenty of room. Well, no looks brain. Like, looks like it's fallen out through that hole in your head. Leaking <laughs> juice. Mist and fog and <laughs> emptiness. That's that's about right. What have we got in here? I'm just walking around with a torch on and there's absolutely no need at all. Wow. That made me jump. Right. What? Andy, what the fuck is this? Not the room. I'm not going to get excited about that in a minute, but what the fuck? What the fuck is that? What, what is this? <laughs> giving up the girl because he's got bollocks to it. <laughs> he's having a sleep. The crow originally got through. Is it actually real? Yeah, it's a real crow. It got through the fireplace. It got through the fireplace and went for a sleep. Well, no, if you look, yeah. It's been just bashing itself in. <laughs> yeah, it's just cracked all over. Oh, the place. poor guy. It's just like. It actually happened, the same thing happened when I was actually in here. So we had the same thing. What? So there's just like random crows that just come for a visit every week? Unless it's not being capped, unless it's being capped off, yeah, they've come through the cellar. Uh, through cellar. the cellar? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Through the fireplace, they've gone through the fireplace. They've come through through the cellar. Yeah, no, then they, they come and have the, the di Christmas dinner. The cellar, no, they've come through the fireplace. Then they come through the fireplace bring a few kids with them because they've been shoved up there to clean it. <laughs> I know. Oh, I do like this though. Look at this. I like a good fireplace. I don't know why I need to mention that to anybody that watches our videos. Because you know, you're just a weird freak. Why am I? Oh, look at this. Oh, my other half's just been making fun out of me for it as well. Right, you've met her for the first time tonight, haven't you? And both of you just picked on me instantly. I don't like this this friendship that you've got all of a sudden, because it means I'm going to get it in the neck constantly. What, between me, Rachel and Sue? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to be in for it, but I do like this. It's not actually my favourite fireplace I've ever seen, but I do like it. There's a better one than me. Is there? There's another one than me, yeah. I like it with wooden surround. I do. I prefer wood than marble. My thing is though, you know like, not this fire because it's only quite a fi small fireplace, but you know when you get a massive fire yeah. and they have a wooden surround, isn't that a bit of a health hazard? Not a fire hazard. <laughs> Almost looked well, like, like it was a bigger fire fireplace at some point. Yeah. Although, I don't know, because the, the, the stone, stone back though. though this, if you look at the wood, small. it looks hand carved. Hey, up, look, this is where Crow's been uh, trying to get back up again, clawing at walls. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's one of the children. I don't know. Let's have a look. I can't actually look myself. But... Oh, Jesus. Something fell down then. <laughs> <laughs> Something fell out of it. 
Haven't. You're a tramp. What is up with you recently? <laughs> Look at the big beam across there as well. Oh yeah, that's a big piece of wood. What is this wood actually? Because it's not. It's not oak. I don't know if it. I don't know if it is oak, you know, Andy. I didn't think look, oak. Look dark enough, bro. I think no. it's been carved though. Because look, yeah, it's not the same on each side. You know. Yeah. Definitely. And look, if you look at the face and stuff, yeah, it's not actually the same. Yeah, it, I, I would have thought it is. And that one's got a big hole in, the, in her head as well, I don't know. Shot. Yeah, whoever's been trying to get the crow has missed. <laughs> got her in head. I like these bits, you know, like it's, what's it called when it's got gaps in it? There's a name for it, what's it called? Gappy. Like metalwork, shut the fuck up. <laughs> metalwork with gaps in, what's it called? There's Dangerous. A, there's a word. I'm not actually know. <laughs> I'm gonna smash your face in. <laughs> there's a word for it and it's doing me head in. Please tell us what it's called. But yeah, metal work with gaps in, you can see stuff above it. I always think, what's above it? What can we get up? Like, is there a way of getting in between the floorboards and whatever that is? You probably made that for the guy who lived here. There's like an inch, yeah. <laughs> like an inch gap between them. No, no, but you do get them in certain places. And yeah. I always think, what's in that space? What's there? So. Is that actually wood? I it's thought it, it looks like painted wood, doesn't it? I think it's metal, isn't it? I don't know if it, well, I don't okay. know. This bar hanging down. Oh no, because it's got these little levers, isn't it? No, it's got screws. Not through, like a cantilever, to, like yeah. hinge. I'm not, I not sure. Can't quite tell. It looks like, if you look at this bit nearest to me. I was going to say, it looks like metal if you look where the screws are. Pointy, pointy torch, Andy, at that. At this one pointing off to my left, there. Isn't that bit rubbed back to the wood? Yeah. This side here, up. Up there. Yeah, I'll look at that. But I think I think it is wood, isn't it? I think it is. I think it's just it's wood. Yeah. yeah. No. I think it's metal. I think it is wood. I think it's got some on this one here. What's hanging down? I think yeah, it's got some wood glue. Now this yeah. is the debate. We need to ask. <laughs> I know. This is it. We've just been saying that, haven't we? Like, if you don't know something, and you want to find out. We're always like this in our videos because we don't know, we don't do research on purpose, and we like to try and find stuff out as yeah, we're doing it. Go along and. Well, yeah. Some of you are to yeah, help us out with out stuff. With, but yeah, they can't really help us out with that because they I can't. Do, I'll be doing my research afterwards. So when I've yeah. been to a place. Same here. It's See, that's that's bits that I like, Andy. Oh, it's not that side, it's a shame. Well, you know that other side? Yeah. This, these are the, the bits that I like. You know, like the original features that they keep on here. Lock. It's a shame that lock don't work though. Yeah. But oh, it does. Oh, is it that little? Yeah. Ah, that's a pain in the arse though, isn't it? Every time you want to change that. Can you stop twisting it now? Yeah. Making so much noise. I'm going to smash you in the face in a minute. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, look at this as well. Oh, God. John Taylor Dunford and Co. Limited. There would have been a big fire hydrant up there, or a big. Like nozzle hosey thing, not a, hydrant. not a hydrant. I didn't mean a hydrant, but I'd, I've never heard of them. And they're from Sheffield, it's a Sheffield company. And I would have thought Sheffield, I would have heard of them. I thought I would have heard of them. <gasps> Look at round the edge of this room, Andy. Look up there. That is amazing. I can't, I'm a bit, it's a bit awkward to show you. Oh, I do like that a lot. Jesus Christ, look at this fireplace. Now that, I know I'll come back to that in a minute. But, oh, it's a shame about the back tiles because that's definitely been changed at some point, but I do like this. It's, it's stone as well. Look at yeah. not, not the fake. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, the detailing and everything on here. By a strip light. I've got some bit of LEDs for some reason. <laughs> Jesus, mate. But that's that looks like the original light switch pull thing there, look. Oh, just a couple of lights were hanging down. No, because that's a pull. There's an old Where do you think No, the, it would have been lights. How can that be a light? The no, wire the light, light, lights hanging up. Oh, the wire sticking out of it. Not uh, the I'm just pull. saying how the, it's the smallest fucking light in the world. <laughs> smallest pull. A little tiny hole. But yeah, no, I get you now. But even like the, de this is what I love, when there's detailing in the bits you can't see. 
Yeah, so like even behind it and that. Yeah. Detail that's what I, you just bang your head. Yeah, look back and bang your head. But that's what I mean. Like if you stood out here looking, you, you wouldn't never see it. You wouldn't even see it. Unless so you're light the fire. Isn't right? Am I right or is a horseshoe upside down bad luck? You said it is. It is. Why would you have that as like your family emblem? An upside down horseshoe? Because that the other way up, it's good luck. I, don't know I thought it was like, I thought it was that way up good luck. No, up like a U is good luck, and down is bad luck. I've always, I want to have to have a look at that in a minute, but I've said I'll come back to this in a minute. That is the initials of the original owner. I'm yeah, not going to the place built. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to say his name because it will give away where we are. But oh, I've not even noticed this. I don't know. Well, I was looking up there, and then I saw this. I've never, never. Not professional. When, when I were younger, I went to. Have I ever told you about my musical days? It's not. A, it's a true story. I promise you. It's not a made-up story. I, I promise you. We're so, the knackers if it's true. If, it, if it's a lie. No, it's not. So I had a piano tutor. And I had to be taken out of the my piano lessons because she kept hitting me with a ruler. And then I had a, a guitar tutor who had to be taken out of his le my lessons because he got sent to prison for being a paedophile. So I didn't really do very well at music. But it's all true. It's, it's not a lie. That actually happened. That was a, a true story. The ruler didn't know what to do with it. He, she used to wrap me over knuckles with it. If I got a, a thing wrong, she used to hit me with it. But... Yeah, I've always w wanted to learn a musical instrument. I'm just no good at these things at all. So, why do I feel like you're on edge or you're about to hit me or you're doing? I don't. You feel weird. I don't like it. So. <laughs> I just used to play an instrument at school. That's what, all. What were it? Xylophone. No. Uh, triangle. Definitely triangle. No, because it's the same letter. Trombone. Trombone. You used. To, can you play one? I can play a trombone. Really? <laughs> we need to get one for um, for meet up. Get you a trombone to play at the play meet trombone. up. Trombone. Not very well, but you need to play it. I'm putting you under pressure now, aren't I? Oh, don't. I'm worried about it already. <laughs> if, you, if you're coming to meet up in Sheffield uh, on May the seventh, bring a trombone with you so Andy can have a play. If you've got, obviously, you've got one hanging about. <laughs> you've just got one knocking about. Under the sink. <laughs> I do, I do, I love it. That. Absolutely. I've got a reason why that could be because obviously in the, around here there is still obviously an iron forge and stuff and they've got well, if he was, there. Yeah, if he was in the iron works then that would make sense I suppose but I'd still put it the other way up. I wouldn't have it that way up. Not if it's bad luck. No. It looks like it's been hung with a rose above it though, doesn't it? Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, there's a ribbon above it and some sort of flower below it. So obviously if you was to hang it it would be hung obviously that way, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't get it, but oh look at this door. Look at the glass in this door. I love this. See the fire oh. uh, escape bit on it as well. The fire what? Oh, oh Yeah, it's a fire escape. So obviously Oh that's, that's good. good. I've never seen a door with something like that built into it. That's brilliant. Different, isn't it? You wouldn't yeah. expect it on, glass. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it on an old door like that, though, do you know? No, definitely. Uh, and they've still got the uh, the matching fixtures oh, and fittings, on, yeah. Some money's with just a doors and stuff in here. Stained glass, I'm glad that's still in one piece. Yeah, I do like a good stained bit of stained glass. glass. As well, that's still got stained glass. Oh, look at that. I feel like I'm just running around the room going, look at this, look at this, look at this. I've been sitting on it and seeing all that, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a, like a sea serpent, isn't it, or something? Or... It reminds me of like a Chinese dragon sort of. Yeah. You know, like, it's actually got a head. Yeah, that's his bloody oh, head. <laughs> that thing that looks like a chicken with, a, <laughs> with another fish in its mouth. Yeah. It's a fish, isn't it? It's a big it's fish. Like a jelly deal. Right, we're going in this one or we're going up there? Oh, I can see a fireplace up there, Andy. I'm guessing we're going in here then. Yeah. Oh, it feels cold in here. It smells a bit funny. Oh, look at this. I like this. Don't work though. Is it not at all? Oh, is it not one that you have to pump, pump. Yeah, to make it work? 
Like with bellows? Yeah, I think the things have gone off it, haven't they? That's a shame. Have you seen that there? It's down there, look. Cornish and Co. I wonder how old that is. I bet that's probably about original, that. Looks like late 1800s, early 1900s. Yeah. So you never know, that could have been here since day dot. I don't mean like... I wonder when, if the family used to use it. Yeah, they could do. Because music was cool. a thing back then, wasn't it? Well, yeah. Music, yeah, or it could even be like... Because a lot of these places had like a religious part to them as well. Had you not seen them? I always look... Oh, look. Cornish Co. Washington. That will have cost a bit to get out. Oh, will it be Washington in this country, though? Was Washington northeast? It says was Washington in the. Is it in? Can't quite. I can't quite get it in to have a look. That sounds dodgy. But get your head under there and have a gander with your really good eyes. Forget my eyes. What's it say? Oh, I can't see. It look like a D, but there's nothing after that. Yeah. I don't know. Your shiny torch is just making it worse. As usual. Well, you time to shine it at it, and then you tell yeah, me so not to shine it at you it. you could see it. That's why. Don't fucking get off me. <laughs> get off me. Don't you be doing out to me. But, yeah. My torch is in here, not outside. I wonder what, what that arch were all about. I feel like there was... In fact, why am I just not even noticing the size of this bloody table? Yeah. It's huge. It's got mould. I know, I've noticed that. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's why this room feels a bit colder and if there's damp, damp getting well, in somewhere. Oh, down. yeah. I've not noticed that. What is up with these lights? Going. That's No, but I just mean in a room like this, why would you put those horrible lights in here? They're awful. It, ruins it, it? it does. Oh, look at the feet on these tables. Look at this chicken nugget. The table's been eating the nugget. That's disgusting. You know what? I might after. You want to eat that? I might after. What? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a bit hard. It's a bit. Just hold that. Look. That is that is rock solid. Very you, good, very nice. Chicken nugget. <laughs> Will you shut up? <laughs> Here, of this, Andy. I said I'd never do this again, but. Oh, you do it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I did say I wouldn't eat any food from a building because it's classed as theft. However, this has clearly been brought into the building and it doesn't belong to the building. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> it's rock hard. <laughs> It's been here about three years. I can't, I can't. Look at that. Oh. That. I can't feel like I could get my head for it. So you've had a year old McDonald's, now you're having a 16 year old chicken nugget. <laughs> it's just flaky. It's just disgusting. I can't hold that. It's just disgusting. That's horrible. <laughs> it's not because it's no, there's no flavour to it at all. It's just rock hard. I'm going to break a tooth on it. <laughs> uh, it was a dentist in the morning. So anyway, I were going to eat it, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that one. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Cool. Like, cause this is like, it's used. the architecture of the building, but yeah. I mean the... The detail, the feature. Yeah, but it's, you know, like we've said, like architrave and like not coving, coving, because it's too big for coving, yeah. isn't it? So what would you class that a as? Freeze. Oh, it could be a freeze. It might it's be a freeze. freeze. Yeah, that might be right. The technical term for it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're always having conversations about it, aren't we? What what the actual term is, and they always people always tell us because we're always wrong. I always forget. Oh, look at the 
old light switches next to the new ones. I'd much prefer That's those. Um, um, Baker light. That's it. Baker light, yeah, definitely. But yeah, I'd much prefer the old ones to the new ones. Right, which way are we going? Oh, I've got to go in here because I've just, I've seen this. Look at this. Oh, it's a shame. Look at the rest of the room. Definitely been computer rooms in here. Or something similar. Look at that. No, oh, I do like that. All the detailing on there as well. And the original, like, fire guardy bit. I wonder what the difference is between the stones. You know, like it's marble, but what is the it's difference? It's marble, isn't it? Yeah, but I'll, there must be a, a name for them, you think? Because we had that down at Thingy Towers, didn't we? All, all them statues that made of, of different sorts of stones. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah, because you didn't even realise there were names of stones, did you? No, it was just green, blue, grey. <laughs> That one, eh? No, because there's definitely different names. Like, you've got soapstone, and you've got Yorkshire stone, and stone from Yorkshire, and <laughs> and Lancashire stone. Lancashire st oh, that's be shit. Though. It'll crumble. Break, break. It won't be very good. Not very really strong. Yeah, definitely. Probably Not like Yorkshire stone. Jackson. Apparently, Yorkshire stone's brilliant. So, <laughs> true <Trump> grit. <laughs> but yeah, look at in here as well. It's slightly different patterns in every room. I don't know if you've noticed. What's happened there? Not on that wall. No, this is this wall's. This is a. Is this a real wall? No. Wall. Yeah, because you can see where all the. Ah, uh, that makes sense for the next room that way then. Right. Well, let's have a look around there now because there's not very much other than that to see. Although I do like this bit. Look. Sure, what no. is that? I can't work out. If that is it a flower? Is it a pea pod? What is it? I don't really know. I thought it was an acorn, does that? What are you eating? Cobweb. <laughs> Floating now. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Anyway, let's look in this room next door. Dogs coming in I know it's really bad, the black mould and everything up there. Right. So yeah, this is the other half of the same room. I, I hate it when they do that, you know. It, it? it does, when they section them up. It's like in here, I don't know if you've noticed that here. You've got this that's beautiful all the way around the edge. And then this horrible thing in the middle here that covers up all the good woodwork on there. They've, and done, they've done the same above as well. Have they? Upstairs. Yeah, you see, oh. up there, look, you've got like flowers and like roses. And then it cuts off all that as well. I'd, what's that even for, that bit, do we reckon? Life, not. Electrics uh, and lighting and... And fire alarms and stuff. Oh, yeah, it could be. a lot of electrics, so... But it, it's a shame when they just destroy things like that, just, just for the sake of putting a load of fluorescent lighting up. It's not good, is it? Right, we're heading upstairs. Even, even on here, though. The craftsman, craftsmanship. I weren't talking about the bloody <laughs> cobwebs. Yeah, unless the co the uh, spiders have been doing the woodwork. But yeah, it's. Uh, I like all the little details though. Things that have been left, because you often get these things removed, don't you? And like new banisters and stuff like that. But oh yeah, look at the damp. This place is going to be ruined soon if you're not careful. We need to get something done with it. There's a lot of coming through the roof, innit? Uh, Thing is though, I know from what I've read, there's been not a lot of people, but there's some people that have been talking about wanting to flatten it because of some of the history. But I think that's going around from a lot of um, places. Are you even listening now? Are you talking to me or what? Yeah, I'm listening. Oh, yeah, but you know, like with the whole Savile stuff and everything like that. Yeah. There's been a lot of backlash of places like this and wanting to flatten them because they're flattening well, his yeah, house. Look at what they did to the Savile's farmhouse in Scotland, spray paint. Yeah, they? well, they, they apparently bulldozing it. They've uh, oh, no. to bulldoze it at last. So, but places yeah, like this again. They built the house in there. Somewhere. Someone bought it for 230,000. Did they? Yeah. But why? That's a lot of money though for a lot of places. It's like tiny, that. although have you seen where it is? Yeah, it's, it's in a beautiful, beautiful spot. Well, that's, that's what it is, isn't it? It's yeah. location. It's yeah, all about location, location, location. <laughs> no, but it might be worth buying just for the plot. Yeah. And then building something else yeah, on it. Knowing, like, 
one of them, and it is the history behind it, and it's one of That's them. It. it still stuns there, even though you've not been down. Some people places full of history, but full of good history. Well, yeah. Not the bad for the bad. What's happening here? I feel like there's somebody stood around this corner. Jesus Christ! It's you, Andy. <laughs> We've had that many um, shadow figures. I'm used to seeing them wrap, popping up round corners now. So, what is that? That's supposed to be a heart or a devil? Like a it's supposed to be a devil, devil's heart. Is, is that a thing? Oh, fuck, that was he just made it up like it. You sounded so confident. Oh, it's a devil's heart. Yeah. But yet we don't know what I'm that is. Clue. You're an idiot. You know what, I'm going to get done the for bullying again. Have that, so, uh, I they eat a lot of them. A lot of, right, how many devils are there? They eat a lot of hearts. Oh, they eat a lot of arse? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean me? I almost did. <laughs> you can... <laughs> what do you mean? They eat a lot of arse. Right, so we've come into a different section of the building. There's something not right. It's like a... Like a staff kitchen or something in here. And it just seems wrong. Like I always talk about things like this, about ceilings just not being right. How low is the ceiling in here compared to every oh, other it's one? It's the only one that's low in this building. Yeah. What so do we find just leave it as it were? We need to go and have a look round here and see what we can find. Because there's windows up there. So there's gotta be a way to get up there. Well, there's these cupboards. Oh, that's just storage. Oh, there's a chair here. Look. Oh, there is a bit. There's a walkway up there as well. You can see all. Very dusty up there. Big skylight and uh, more of the architecture. I can't quite get it around that corner. I'm not climbing up there, because there's nothing up there apart from that. Looks like someone's been trying to use this to climb up at yeah. some point. The sink, yeah. Probably, there's absolutely no way I'm standing up. A sink? Yeah. A sink? Yeah. You can't hold that door, but it's sitting this side. Oh. Why would there be a sink in there? That makes no sense. Oh, it's an old, an old no, sink as well. That's weird. Oh, this will have just been added later on then, won't it? Just smash the touch on it. But yeah, after last week, climbing up ladders, there is absolutely no way I would stand it on that. It's a bit of a bizarre one, though, isn't it? That's not yeah. the way it is, is it? No. I was going to say, these wouldn't have been near but... Yeah, well, I stood on a ladder last week, and he just climbed up it, I went up it, just snapped straight away. Oh, no. What, wooden ladder? <laughs> yeah, old one as well. About 100 years old, didn't it? Yeah, really old. old. Yeah. I don't know, it's a bit of a maze. You've just oh, been in there. Yeah, just, just going in circles. Where are you going now? Yeah, there's a lot of these that are just being stripped. Like, they're like offices, aren't they? Yeah. But even these have got relatively high ceilings, haven't they? This was the girls' landing and the girls' corridor. So I had all the girls' bedrooms in these ones. The abuse that went off in this place was disgusting and you can find it online as well, we've been having a look. Some of the things that happened were, were terrible from the 1960s to probably the 1990s. But I think it, it sorted itself out after that, but it's, it's terrible what went off in some of these places. Right, so we're moving off the, the girls landing and there's some stairs around this corner. Which makes me think we can get up to the attic. Get up, go on, get going. Oh, I like this. I like. Yeah, this is my favourite bit so far. Don't know. It's. I think that is original. You know, you know the stenciling. Yeah, it's lead paint, man. Is it? Yeah, oh, it will. It's lead paint. It will be then, definitely. You can see it with the way it cracks and stuff, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, they did a lot of stenciling in the sort of, like, late 1800s anyway, so it will be original. What's in there? Roof space. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah, but is it just roof space, or is it... It takes you to that false ceiling. Oh, does it really? 
Oh, it's raining outside, I can hear it. Oh, but look, bits of furniture and, and all sorts. I'm definitely gonna jump back in here in a minute. I'm just gonna have a look where Andy's gone. Oh God. Jesus, will you stop with them doors? I'm sorry. Oh, look at these. Let's have a look at these. Something yeah, but I don't know if they will be first original first editions or anything like that. Uh, I'm just making sure that weren't anything. Yeah, presented to the Cherry Grove family unit by members of the Winston Youth Club as a result of the 1970 Canoe Marathon. That's quite interesting. That is very interesting. What would be a canoe marathon? Canoe? Yeah. Oh, not a... look at that. That's red oh, fruit. Oh, juicy, juicy fruit. Yeah. Wriggly's juicy fruits. Andy, can you open that front cover for me? Because I can't oh. do it. No, there's one. Oh, yeah, that's the one. There's usually the next page. Between there, look. And there's no... Nothing on back page, yeah. Yeah, it's usually either front or back. Have a look at the back. We're not going to go through the encyclopedia page by page, Andy. Yeah. yeah, these they're not that old at all. These no. they're like um, 1960s, I'd say. These what well, not the originals? I don't the know why. I old. don't know what the same the, name, the ones underneath though look really old though. If you look at look at these back bits, yeah, but that's the binding inside. There will have been another cover on the front of that. Yeah, if you have a look towards the back, it's the same. Oh, in fact, it's there, so it is. 1850, no, 1880. 1880, I don't know whether that's the, oh, it's the ninth edition. So the first edition would have been in 1880. The ninth so I wonder edition. if that's, I wonder if the guy who actually originally had this house obviously built, had these before he moved in here and then brought them with him. Possibly, but would it be not the same? With it being the the eighth, the ninth edition of it though, you'd be talking probably into the nineteen hundreds. Yeah. Like middle nineteen hundreds. Well, look at all them. Let's have a look. There's tons of them. Oh wow! Now they look old but in this back corner, or maybe just because they've been sat in in the corner. Yeah, look, Encyclopedia Britannica. Yeah, the crabs and stuff. But yeah, yeah, ninth edition. They're all all seem to be around about the same age. And then this one, just hold that, Andy. I can't believe how old this one is. This is definitely the oldest one I've seen. One second. No, not this one. This one here. <laughs> Where are they now? I don't even recognise anyone in that team at all. I literally, I literally don't. When's this from? Oh, Wayne Bridge. It's not that long ago, is it? But yeah, there's, uh, like I say, I think, I reckon if it's ninth edition, and it, even if it's done every five years, you're talking about the 1930s. 30s. But saying that there's photos in the back of some of them, so that's gonna be like the 1960s, 70s, 80s, isn't it? So, I don't know. Is that gladiators? Gladiator magic apps from Merlin. Oh, that will have been collected by somebody that were here in the 90s. Yeah. Definitely. Right. It's like. What? What women? Jet. Lightning. Light the blonde one? Yeah. No. Oh. Jet, the dark haired one. Isn't she called Linda in real life? <laughs> 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 really boring name. Yeah, yeah. They were. I thought you'd like Shadow. You know the big black guy oh, with, the, with the with the stary eyes. Walt. Oh, Walt. Yeah. It wasn't you about ninety when he did it though. Surely oh, he still looks good now though. Oh, is he still alive? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And we're like thirty years oh, on. Oh, Shadow. Oh, sh 
Oh, uh, Hunter. Hunter. Oh, he was a fucking freak. He yeah, he was definitely going, yeah. he was going bald then. He got curly hair, but you could tell he was going bald. Oh, you're right, nonce. <laughs> you're a nonce. You can't call him a nonce. No, you know what I mean? He just looked weird with his stupid hair. Have you seen Ulrika Johnson recently? Oh, she's dead. She's it like a wrinkle. Fall down. <laughs> she's like uh, Celine Dion. Have you seen Celine Dion? It's just, it's just a right state. What is wrong with him all now? I know, what's up with him? Might just die. You can't, you can't say that. Look at him, for God's sake. They'd snap, wouldn't they? Well, they, they would, but... I'd, who else was there? John Fashionu. I hated John Fashionu. Yeah. And the guy that did the... Ooga! <laughs> that's what you were saying, weren't it? No, that weren't John Fashionu. Who were that, then? That were um, the runner. Um, oh, what were his name? I want to say Martin. It's not Martin. What were he called? Um, Not that one, eh? Hey, no, that. John Fashion with a boring one. The, he, he were a... I should know because he were in athletics when I was, mm. before I was fat. It will come to me in a bit. Yeah. I just can't think. He would say it all the time, didn't he? Yeah, and do that with what, his hand. Yeah, what does it actually mean? I don't know. Well, it's like a catchphrase. It's like it's anything. Not even, it's not even a word. <laughs> it's not can't be a catchphrase. It's not even a word. A <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> No, but it's only like Ronaldo now with the sweet or whatever he fucking says. Him? Yeah. What's in there? What's in here? They're just like axes. Don't, don't, don't axes? axes. <laughs> There's axes in here. Oh, shit falling on my head. Oh, look. How many, how many kids were sent up and shoved in here at some point didn't you say you who were it that said something were it you that said something about people cleaning floors with so yeah obviously when i originally did this place the first time and that and i'd put it into a i'm not gonna obviously mention the group but it was a private group and obviously previous kids that had been here in obviously late like obviously the 1900s from like obviously the 70s to the 90s were do you know if they'd misbehaved, they was told, like, get up, like, in the middle of the night and made to force, they were forced to clean the cellar with toothbrushes. That's mental. And other, like, stuff, but... Um, but that's it, just think think of the stuff that did go off. If that happened, what else happened? Exactly. You know, like, because a lot of people things. don't talk about stuff either, so if that's the stuff they when talk about... When we were about, here, we were never allowed to go in the cellar or the attic. Really? No, we were never allowed. Is that so because... the kids that actually come here, were they from broken homes or were they... Uh, so, or just orphans or so like some were like adopted had no parents some obviously had like broken relationships with families some obviously the families walked out on them and very so like yeah. very like kids come from all over the uk to this yeah. this home i know previously like back in the day it was like vulnerable really vulnerable very, kids. really vulnerable children yeah but then it sort of like became more of a not, I want to say open house, but I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, it were sort of just normal stuff mm. rather than really it bad stuff. It become, like, a accepted more in society yeah. as the years went on. And obviously, when it first became a children's home, it was family-run, not authority-run. Mm. So yeah. That's it. And the thing is, I have I used to work in childcare back in the day, and I know working, like, as a teacher's assistant and stuff... People just didn't have any qualifications, no no mm. CRB checks can't like they do this, today. Do that? Yeah, yeah right. that's it. Bang, in you go. Master, master care home. Exactly, that's it. None of them were t CRB checked, were they? No. Well, no, there were people from out of prison and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people with criminal records and robbed elderly people, and it's like, well, why would Look, you put them in yeah. a place like this? Yeah. Do you know? Look after me kids. <laughs> You've beat up a granny, but it's fine, it weren't a kid, so you're fine, you can work yeah. here. Yeah, you yeah. only beat up anybody who was over the age of 80. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna have a look down in this hole. Is probably what some of the people that worked here said. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it's just the water tank in this bit. There's nothing else through there, I don't think. I'm gonna have a look in the uh, the other bit though. You gotta think there's no. Ah, fucking hell! Did you hear that? Yeah. I, I, fall through the I know. That's what I was trying to stop myself doing. So I threw myself back and head butted that bloody plank. When we were in Clunk. Tiles, that. Yeah, straight outside, isn't, isn't it? it? There's no like clap. There's no literally insulation on it whatsoever. No, straight out. And they put the felt on it, don't they? They're old tiles as well. It's just literally a bit of what 
Well, they're in. Well, they're in no more, but... It's gone now. Whatever it is, yeah, it's completely... It's watertight, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's dry in here. You can definitely tell. Oh, I've proper hurt my head now. <laughs> can you hurt that thing? <laughs> to be fair, I've probably it's hurt like wood more. Ball. <laughs> Came in like a wrecking ball. Stop singing. Get out. Right, so they've just locked me in, which is nice of them, but I've just it's made me have a look down here. Look, you've got little bits of old games and stuff like that, and uh, a bit of uh, jigsaw, and they probably think that I don't know they've locked me in, but I have got ears, so. Don't really have the same effect when I do this by myself. But I thought I'd share it with you anyway. They finally decided to let me out. Mm -hmm. But while I've been scrabbling around, look what I found. So, that's from a, a game of Snap. With all the, the new money when that came in. When didn't... That were 90s, weren't it? What? When new... Oh no. no. Decimalisation, 1971. Yeah, no, I'm thinking about when the 5Ps changed. Oh god. That were 90s. 95, wasn't it? No, I think it was before that. I'm sure, because I, I remember yeah, it happening. Before that. Like 92 or something like that, I think. Then you've got that that looks like it's some sort of cigarette card. Um, trees in Britain. Could be out of a game. Got a little camel. And this I found right up round that corner there. And I actually think that's really old, that piece of material. It's nothing exciting. And then some shoes that look like they're from the 1980s as well. So just don't know, like if we moved all this insulation here, I bet we'd find some right stuff. There's an honeycomb here, Andy. What? Either a wasp's nest or a honeycomb. Look. Yeah. So th this is what I'm saying about just using your eyes sometimes, just getting down on the floor and having a look in these places because you find all sorts of stuff, don't you? And I love it, oh, me. Yeah, this is one. Yeah. I think it's a wa wasp nest, not a honeycomb, because they tend to use bits of shite to make the nest as well. So, but yeah, I reckon there's some right stuff under there, but I'm not moving it all because it all get in my lungs. Go on, yeah. It's um, fiberglass, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Right. Enough shit in our lungs. I know, you especially. You, actually, to be fair, you've not been as bad today, are you no. coughing? It's been all right, I? I know. I'll order you one soon. What cough? No, a coughing. <laughs> I'd not even noticed this when I first walked through. I do like a good circular window. And they always seem to do them up, like, in the... Where were we? Um, Attic. No, I know. I it meant... Even though it's like a bell tower, wasn't it? Like a... You know, no, but when I've been to convents and we went to um, St. Joseph's and stuff like that, they always seem to have them up. Yeah, at the top of the building. I don't know why they would do it. Is it just the style of the time or what? And... At that asylum that we went to. Which one? We went with um, Ghost Theory. When they, they oh, went. yeah. Um, up Lancaster. in Lancaster, Lancaster, yeah. 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 They all <coughs> seem to have them, but I think... It, right at the top of the... Because, yeah, right here would be an archway. Yeah. So in the archways, if you notice, most of the archways always have the circle rather than like a... Shame it's not uh, stained on. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have it stained up here, though, because who comes up here? It's going be nice. Well, it would be nice. It'd be nice if you, you turned it into really a big from, house. You wouldn't see it from all the way down the bottom, though, because obviously it's like, what? No, but uh, say if you turn this into a bedroom, like, if you turn this into a big house, that would look amazing. If yeah. you stripped all this back and, like, made it the, original, like, yeah, yeah. It'd, be, it'd be brilliant. It's yeah. almost like it's been added at a later, like, a later time, yeah. you know? A bit of insulation behind it, isn't it? Mm. Well, yeah, because there's walkways behind here as well. Don't know where you're going, because I'm going in here, Andy. Are you going there? Yeah. Can I want to have a look. I like rotten, though. Rotten's good. I like a bit of danger. Right. I've been warned. Apparently it's very dangerous up here. So I've got to be careful. But I do, you know what it's like. You know, I like looking in bits and finding stuff that nobody else has seen for, for years and years. Let's have a look round. 
the thing I like about bits up here is not the cobwebs, because they're vile, but it's the original woodwork. Now that, I thought it was like a handrail that then, up some stairs. I think it's just holding up that bit of the roof, which is weird. Why is the, that's like a newer piece. It's been added later. What is this? Is that an old handkerchief? You know what it reminds me of that? Like the little white bonnet things that they wore. It isn't, I don't think. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's a bit creepy up here. Like I say, I think the cobwebs don't help, especially because they're in my face at the moment. Oh, there's a little door over there. We'll have to make our way in. I don't think there's anything up round that corner. Let's see where this takes us. Right, we've got to the door. It's brought me to another room. But I don't know where I can go from here. Because it looks like there used to be a door over there, look. It's been blocked up. I'm going to have to have a quick look. Now, definitely, you can see the difference in the bricks. Oh, I've not noticed that. It goes through to a little trap door. Oh, wow. Look at this. I wonder what that little room is in there. I need to try and get over this. It looks a bit awkward though. It's about five and a half foot high, that wall. Oh, look at this. Look at this sacking. I wonder what that is. It's got writing on it. I can't quite work out what it says. Now, the other thing I'm a bit worried about at the moment. Hey, what's in this sack? Feels like there's something in it. <laughs> That's what was in it. <laughs> Just a big pile of dirt and lots of dust. I can't, I ain't got time to find out what it says on the sack because looking on here, I've got four minutes to get through here and I've got no spare torch with me. So I've got to get through here, have a look and get back before this, tur this turns off. Right, I've made it up. I've just rung Andy twice to come and give me an hand. Because it was really awkward getting up here. But I'm up. Now I don't know what this dome bit is. I'm over the top of here. It's got to be some part of the ceiling, but I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I'm gonna fall backwards. Need to grab something. Oh. There we go. Oh my God. Now this is the bit, oh Lord. This is the bit I've just been told to be careful about. I'm gonna go through it if I try. It's glass. Look up there. I'm gonna have to try and get in and stand on the edges. I don't care what anyone says. Absolutely covered in cobwebs again. But the thing is, when people tell me, because Abandoned UK said don't, definitely do not stand anywhere near this bit. But when people tell me not to do it, it makes me wanna do it even more. So I'm not gonna listen to him. So if I'm dead in the morning, I love you all. I don't know if you can see, because looking at this, it do not look like glass. But if you look there, you can see the light shining through. I've got to try and get onto this wood around the edge somehow, because I think that's going to be the strongest part. But it looks like somebody's broken through these already, which is worrying. It's a right drop underneath me. Don't know how solid it is. Don't know if this is a good idea or not. Oh God. I wanna know what's through I wanna know what's through that door. I get myself in some right dilemmas because I'm too adventurous. And he's always really cautious and he's not here. I tried to ring him, but 
I could have been dead and ringing him to tell him, tell me, tell him I'm dead. But as he come, as he ick. Right, let's be like a seal. Oh God, it's like watching a beached whale. I'm trying to get out. I don't know whether to do this or not. Because I can't get onto those side bits without coming across glass. Andy did know what to do. I'll see you in a minute. Right. Give you a bit of a better view. Look at this. On the top here. Now, do I try and get down these wooden bits? Do I walk over this in the middle? Or oh, that wooden bit? Definitely can't walk on the glass. I'm just gonna go for it. Right, I've decided I'm gonna do half and half. I'll try and walk on the board. I'll put my weight on this side as well. It's not a massive drop, but I definitely still break my legs and you can literally fall a meter and break your back. Oh, wait a minute, I know exactly where I am. Oh God, this is a bit bad. I know where I am. I'm going to show you in a second. Can you see it under there? That's that ceiling I was looking up at a minute ago. So that is, you know, we went in the little room that said, that was um, the staff room. That's the ceiling of that. And we're over the top of it. So that's the glass we were looking up at. Where do these boards go over this side? Right, I'm gonna have to, I'm scared of filming, but I wanna show you how scared I am. It's all creaking. Every step that I take, it's creaking that little bit more. So I'd probably go through there and straight down into the room below. And this next bit looks even dodgier because I don't know if, even if I got in it, I would get back out again. But I want to go in there. Let's have a look. Right, so oh, they are just down there. That's where we were looking up through to see the ceilings that you can't quite see from here. I've got to try and squeeze through here at a really weird angle because I've got to get round this corner without falling down there and get that way. But we don't know what's up there because nobody's been up there because nobody has dared to come across this bit. So, well, we'll give it a go see where we get to but I'm not filming this bit because I'm scared. Right, so I'm on those two boards laid flat on my stomach at the moment moving across. I'm sweating as you can see probably more for fear than anything else. I'm not particularly boiling but I'm scared of getting back out of here. If I can't find an entrance or an exit door this way going back out is going to be a nightmare. Right, this is awkward because I can't quite stand up. Now Dan, that we're here with tonight, has just said that nobody he knows has been through this way. Nobody has dared to come across the glass. And now I'm balancing on my tiptoes at the other side of the glass, hoping I can get through this. Because I struggled to get through the other gap at the other end. What do I do for this channel? Right, looking down here, it doesn't go anywhere unless it's round that corner there, but there's nothing to stand on. There's no floorboards apart from these bits that are chucked all over. And I don't trust them because I'd have to jump straight down there. So I'm gonna have to go back. I'm a bit gutted. There's an owl right outside this place. So loud. It's one o'clock in the morning. And we're after head back. Anyway, we've got this to contend with again. And I'm not looking forward to it at all. Oh God. 
It's just so hard. I don't really know the best way to do this. One thing you can see is my uh, hazel eyes tonight. Looking a bit good. Anyway, nothing like being vain before you die. So like I said before, I've got to avoid the big holes straight down. And get round where the torch is, round this corner. It's not easy, easy at all to get back round there. So while I'm dangling over here, I may as well show you something that people probably haven't seen for about 30 or 40 years. One sec. So yeah, look at the design round there. Look at the wallpaper. And we'll look at Andy through the window. Hello, Andy. Andrew. Hi. Hello. You all right? I'm showing everybody the wall. Nice. I'm hanging. I can't breathe very well. I'm coming down now. So, as I was climbing through that door, or sliding through, there's a nail down there somewhere, and it slowly started to drag my shorts off. Until the point where they were on my knees. But I didn't want to show you that bit. I didn't think anybody would be interested. Anyway. Let's, uh, let me concentrate on getting over here without dying. And I'll see you back with Andy. We've <laughs> got two layers on. Right, so I've, just, I've just come through there. I put my foot down to climb down. And there's a fire extinguisher. You see where my feet were? <laughs> oh, where my feet were? <laughs> yeah, have you been pissing yourself again, Andy? You couldn't help it, it's my age. <laughs> have you got to that age? Yeah. That were like, Psst. Yeah, it just shot up in air, didn't it? It did. Like you got on a nard on. I literally couldn't have got you in a better place if I tried. Feel <laughs> long leg. <laughs> you literally can not see where you were stood as well, your footprints. Yeah. <laughs> literally there, look. It's because I was dangling my legs out of this hole and I literally put my foot down. You're like, what's that fire extinguisher? <laughs> <laughs> what's that fire extinguisher? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to use that again. one, yeah, don't use it again. Me really again. <laughs> Right, absolutely knackered after crawling through there. You know what? It ti you know when you're scared, it makes you tired. I always go really tired, you know, like when I'm nervous mm. or something. Really, really tired. I've got... You feel quite hot through here. I'm you sweating, feel, yeah. absolutely. You're not feeling me. Uh, I'm sweating, I've got cobwebs in my hair, absolutely full of dirt. I'm sure... Uh, but, I mean, knackers full of fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> sure my missus is gonna be well pleased when I get in bed when I get back. You better get a wash, you dirty pig. Oh, <laughs> don't know. Yeah, anyway, a bit of dirtiness. It's you know what? There's a, so many good features in here in this bit. It's such a shame about the other side where it's it's sort of a bit clinical. Yeah. Sort of brought to more to date in it. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, it's an amazing place. I'm really glad we came. I'd like to know a bit more of the the original history. So if you do know anything, you know where this is. Don't say where it is. Just tell us a bit about the history, because I know you always tell us these things. Um, Meet-up tickets. I know I say every week now, but we're getting closer and closer. How many weeks are we now? Three and a half. Is that all it is? Three, three weeks on Saturday. Three, three weeks, weeks on... yesterday. What? What? It's fucking Monday. How could it be... When this goes <laughs> out, it could be Tuesday, Tuesday Sunday. You know. Oh, when this goes out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I like Monday. How could, how's that work? It can't, weren't even Saturday yesterday. <laughs> So three, three weeks yesterday. When this video goes when out. This video goes out. So you need to be more specific about these no, things. You do. Anyway, 7th, get your tickets. They are running out. Um, we're going to be doing a live stream at the beginning. We're going to be doing an auction of some stuff. Um, we're just going to be getting absolutely bladdered. Yeah, which is the main reason. Like I say, five years on YouTube. It's about time we did. Well, last time were a disaster. But anyway. <laughs> I had some right stuff last time. Anyway, we're going to get off. Um, it's not actually a long drive home today. An hour? Just, a over, bit. just over an hour. So we will see you soon and we love you very much. And thank you very much. Make sure you get over to Abandon UK's channel and his Facebook it's as well. Facebook. His Facebook's well impressive. Mm -hmm. So, right. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. As usual, want to say a massive thank you to our Patreon users. If you've not had a chance to have a look what you get for being a Patreon member, bomb over to patreon.com slash finders beepers.